happy because it has been a long week. It I, has been I don't, long for you, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't love gathering orders. It's not my favorite job that I've ever had. In fact, it's the only job that I have. Uh, I can kind of say that it's the only job I've never had. I did, when I ran our Amazon store, I did have to gather those orders, but they were usually like two items at the most. Do we is, not do an Amazon store anymore? Well, we do. I just don't do it oh, anymore. That's other people's jobs these days. So, in any case, very happy that it's Friday. We are still working to get all of the beautiful orders that you guys have processed from Monday and a little yesterday for those of you. I mean, there was a, Denny, you weren't here, but Tony and I were here. We had like 70 people join us to buy 13 things yesterday. It was pretty what? awesome. Did and you sell all 13? We sure did. We just sold some Bundys and one really cool blue side. So in any case, if you guys haven't joined our live shopping yet, you're totally missing out because it is a hoot and a half. Um, but also you get cool leathers for cheap and free shipping. So anyways, just a little plug for our live shopping that we do on Thursdays, usually at 2 p.m. Central Time on Facebook. Anybody wants to join us in that the is, future. That is a plug. It's 100% a plug. Totally just plug that. That is my commercial for the morning. <laughs> All righty. So, but really, I'm just going to be talking for the next hour because Denny is going to be hand sewing this, uh, the, the binding on the top of this bag, yeah. aren't you? Yes, it's very much fun, too. It's a lot. I did one stitch and I said, nah, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. It's not as bad as a saddle binding, though, is it? <clears throat> Yeah, it kind of is. Okay. <laughs> As a matter of fact, now that it you mention it, worse. Tony. <laughs> could be much worse. So, yeah. So, on Wednesday, uh, Denny and I started the um, Gospodinia. Gospodinia. Gospodinia bag. So, this lovely uh, twister of a bag. Um, we started and I sewed one whole panel and then you sewed two I sold oh, okay. one and a third of a panel and then realized that I did not have the correct order of panels happening so I cut that out and then I stopped working on it and I told Denny that he was welcome to keep going <laughs> and of which you did I, of course I did a perfect course, job yeah you did he didn't put any <laughs> holes where they weren't supposed to be <laughs> He told me not to tell you guys, but I don't have anything else to talk about, so I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> so anyways. Hey, it never hurt to have a few extra holes. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna bling it up. We could put some crystal rivets in the holes and we could just put extra ones along the top. That's what you I know? was planning. I was gonna do some matching holes. Yeah, so these straps are a little, um, they, they fold like a ribbon like you're doing a ribbon like this. And uh, Denny apparently got confused about which holes go where. So he punched a triangle's worth of holes instead of just a line of holes. Let me tell you I get to, story. He hasn't leather worked in a few weeks, so I'm gonna give it to Here him. Here is the story. <laughs> I have this pattern, this set of patterns that were printed off Yes. And they have holes here and there in them. Okay. But there are no written instructions as far as do this and do that. It's They're a video. just pictures. Mm -hmm. And even the video confuses me. <laughs> but there's all these holes in, in the pattern, so I thought, okay, that's where I need to, those holes. Yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> he was not I've correct. I've never been wrong before, but I was that time. <gasps> wow. Well, you've made it several years without being wrong. I'm impressed. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of track record. Oh, you've never been wrong that I remember other than... See? Exactly. I've never been wrong. Except for just right now when I told everybody about the um, extra holes that Denny put yeah, in things. And then that was wrong. That's just wrong. Yeah, that was not right. That was 100% incorrect. <laughs> So anyways, so yeah, so on Wednesday we started it and basically you have to cut out all of these panels. Um, they are not all the same and geometry is fun, which is what Denny learned when he thought that he had to draw it himself before I've come he... to the conclusion this is not geometry, it's calculus. Oh yeah. Or something to that effect. I don't know. I can't even spell Some it. Some trigonometry maybe? Yeah, trigonometry. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' math. <laughs> yeah, so you've got... I'm assuming you just have like an array because you have one large panel. So like each of these has like yeah. one wider panel and then they kind of get smaller and then they taper specifically to create this twist and then to create, because once the bag is done, it creates its own shape. Yeah. Like it is this shape. Yeah. Because more, of how, more or less. Yeah, yeah, because of how everything spirals. And so then he had to also sew the bottom on, which he said was lots and lots of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He really enjoyed that. 
the one good thing you can say about this this whole handbag has only six pieces of hardware and it's six double cap rivets yeah other than that there is no hardware it's all leather and thread you don't need a sewing machine you really want one but you don't need one because <laughs> you can't use it anyway <laughs> but everything is hand stitched and those yeah. six rivets is all there is to this and you know what i really want so i know that that we didn't do it on this one because you're just trying to figure it all out which is 100 percent fine but it would be really fun and you even said so this is our um copper cowboy leather mm -hmm. not not the copper color i'm sorry this is the tangerine cowboy we started we only offered the copper color and so it was just copper cowboy and now that we have more colors like three years later it's really hard to not keep calling it copper cowboy this is the tangerine cowboy. Um, copper collection. Copper, no, 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 cow, yeah, cowboy. Cowboy collection. Cowboy collection. We have a copper color. This is the tangerine. We also have steel and a blue, and they're just the great colors. It's a great, it's great got leather teal, line. Teal, you say? We, it's a, some sort of a blue. Oh. I didn't say it's steel. steel. It's a steel. steel. Oh, steel. Like a gray color. Yeah. Um, but so Denny, after he had kind of constructed it, he said that he wished that he had chosen a leather that had a bit firmer hand. Yes. Something that kind of stood up a little bit more on its own. So that's something to kind of take note of if you do decide to do the bag. Um, you could either line the panels with a thin, maybe like a pigskin or something before you cut them out, glue everything together, and then you could cut out lined panels, which I actually think would look really good. Or you could do a drop-in lining. Because the edge is bound, you could do a fabric drop-in lining. Um, it does have a pocket that we will attach yeah. when we attach the handles. It all just rivets in. Lining would definitely give it a more finished Denny look. totally didn't hand sew this pocket, guys. Just uh, FYI. Oh, this see, is, now you're telling on me again. He said, this is a straight line and it's flat and I can put this in a machine and that's what I'm going to do. So that's what he did. But what I would really like to see is like the center on each side to be a veg tan tooled one and then the rest of it to be an oil Ooh, tan. I yeah. think that that would look really awesome. Just alternate your pattern or your panels. You could alternate or just do the one swoosh. So like the center swoosh in the front and the oh. center swoosh in the back yeah. and tool those two. And I think that that would just add, you know, it. you don't have to tool the whole thing because that would be a lot. At first, that's what I wanted Denny to do, but he didn't listen to me and it was probably so long ago that he forgot. <laughs> what are you saying? Um, do you think the first couple panels that you could stitch with a machine, like the first uh, one that you did together? You might... You it's might. really awkward though because there's not you really would like to glue them you really like you needed to match up the holes so Denny went through and he punched all of these holes and then you match your holes together it would be difficult I feel like I was just thinking to glue did, it in that arc like you were talking about the tooled one on this fat one what if this fat one here was a hair on and that was the first one that you did oh. and you and you used a machine that way you could find you wouldn't have to find stitching holes and then the other side you should start punching holes together yeah i don't know you do that i'm just trying yeah, the, to the hair on would be cool uh, yeah. the only reason that i did it like i did it it was because that's how they did it in the video. right right they pre-punched everything yeah. and no and it, it worked well yeah it was good um but then also i really oh, a hair on would be cool and what you could do um to you know so that you're not showing the hair on edges is it, I don't think it really matters if you sew on top or on bottom. So like each of these, you're supposed to kind of layer, like you stack on top of the next one so that all of your exposed edges are on the same side um, or like flowing in the same manner. But you could tuck, kind of like Denny did on this one, you could tuck your hair on panel. <laughs> He's going to punch me after today. Yeah, he's, you could tuck your hair on panel inside like this so that you only, your, your hair on is exposed or is not exposed, like that edge, so it looks better. And you could do that on your two center ones. I, that would actually look really cool. And then you just cap the whole edge and you cap all that off. And I would love to see a drop in lining. You would have to, it would be a little bit difficult with the handles. I guess if you did a leather lining, you could just punch all the way through to, to rivet the handles on. Yeah. Oh, you... It would be a little bit yeah, awkward. If you to try did to punch a drop in lining that had to be removable, yeah, it would be awkward. But, but if you weren't ever going to take the lining out, just rip it through the lining right. into the handles. Right. Well, let's see here. What else can I say? I got no long box with yellow tape yet. Well, Dean, be patient. Is it is it set for delivery today? Have we even shipped it? Do you have a tracking number? Do you know when it's going to come? And all those questions. <laughs> 
don't mess with don't mess with Leah. Yeah, remember Dean? You said you don't mess with me. <laughs> I read that. I read I read your shenanigans before we start. I like how that one person that the saw person, what was his name, Dave? Uh, Henry. Henry. Henry had to go before we even started. That's really cute that he just came in to say hi and then he had to go. Yeah, he came in and said hey, hey to Dean and then left. Are you guys buddies? Like, do you know each other not from YouTube? They're YouTube and buddies. Are you YouTube and buddies? I thought that, that was really fun. Let's see here. Does it play the sound? Oh. That's me. Okay. I put a sound on the whack and tell me. So now it goes thunk. I was wrong once. I think you should play word games. I should play word games? Yeah. You've got an hour you need to talk about stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, now I'm making you self-conscious. Yeah. Thanks, Denny. That's Plus, right. What else can I pick on you about this bag? I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully you're out out of ammunition. <laughs> Man, I did. I had a lot of things, and and I said them all in like ten minutes. So now I'm out of all of this more things. Well, don't you know, I'm sure we got new people in. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Gospedinia. It's by um, a company called the Leather Hub, and they had some fun, cool patterns. Is this this was one of them? It looks like their little picture that we uh, this way. That's so difficult. Anyways, it almost looks like a veg tan that they use that's just here. really patinaed. Yeah. So. Yeah, they did use a veg tan, and that's, I was going to mention that, you know, they had a lot, that bag has a lot more body to it than this one mm -hmm. have because it was a veg tan, yeah. which is a pretty firm tannage. Is it? For the most part. Yeah. Most veg tan. Unless it's milled. Yeah, unless it's milled. <laughs> or unless it's not. Or unless it's not, unless it's thin. Thanks, Liz, for getting back to me. Of course, David. Of course. Plus, they used some dye on that. that yeah, they did a really cool yeah. modeled yeah. look to it. Yeah, I, at first, just looking at it, I thought it was done with an airbrush, but they did it with a... Like they, a sponge? They kind of block dyed it, yeah. Oh, okay. I've always wanted to do, you know, like the uh, sea sponges that you can buy to like sponge your house. I've always wanted to try some of that on leather, but I don't really do a lot of leather coloring. That's not my strong suit. I dye things one color or I can stamp them and then antique them a color. Yeah. And I can, I can paint dye on with a brush if I would like to like do a border on something. Right. That's about as fancy as I get. I'm no Melissa with all my fun shenanigans. She has a lot of fun shenanigans. Yeah, well, I'm like you. I don't, I, I don't dye a lot of things myself unless I'm forced to. Zero got a box. What is those little emojis? Are those beer cups? Uh, yeah. Okay. You guys just. It's a little early, fellas. It's a little early. Maybe five o'clock where they're at. <laughs> Some people don't care. It might be noon. That is Mine true. It's really cool that you guys did a pattern for somewhere else. I am. It was mostly our mistake. We, were, we thought we were doing a customer's pattern. I guess it could be a customer. I don't really know. I guess they could. I think they just do patterns. Yeah. Well, they've got to do leather work somewhere, so. Yeah, they do the yeah we kind of explained it with a whole story. It's a cool, like it's a cool bag. I'm not sorry that that we that we're doing it or that we've got it, but it just it was meant to be a, a customer's. Carlo Carlova. Yeah. And it wasn't. I don't know what happened. You know, this, things happen sometimes. That was who we thought it was. Hey, Dave. If you want to do a real fun LHP, do I the learned. mannequin. What is an LHP? If you want to do a... Michael, what's an LHP? A uh, left-handed pitcher. I don't think that's what acronym he is using, but... That's what you use That's when you're what, talking right in softball. Picture, left mm. Good morning, Brenda. Time is but state of mind. That is true. Just time is just a construct that we put. I mean, obviously, like we literally move around the sun and then also twist, and then there's the moon that does things, and it's a it happens in a certain time period. But you know, we make it what it is. Denny, there was, I did not get to see the Aurora Borealis when I was up in Alaska. 
and Christy was really sad about that. So next next time, next time we go, we'll have to make sure that we that and, we get that done. And that's something I've never seen either, and it's on my little bucket list. I would love to see the Northern Lights. Yeah. I keep thinking I'll see them somewhere. <laughs> haven't, haven't yet. Yeah, I don't think well, New Zealand's going to get in, there. in various places. Yeah. I've heard of people seeing them in Georgia and places like that. I have not seen occasion. them in Georgia. How do you know? Have you ever I been think, there? I think that those people them? were yeah. taking something, Denny. Huh? I think that they were on something well, seeing some northern lights. I hate to break it to you, my friend. <laughs> they did not see them. In you don't know that. They I think we might. Dinosaurs were around. <laughs> I can guarantee you that they haven't seen them. I think it has something to do with the atmosphere. Not, you don't even know like the, what the town the guys do not get high enough. Uh, I, you know, I'm part of an Aurora Borealis chasing group. Are you really? <laughs> hey guys, I think we're about to learn something about Tony. Yeah, you you go look through the KPIs and all the other different meters that say when the solar flares are coming and how they predict the solar activity from the solar flare from the sun and when it's going to get here, when it's going to arrive. And then you start looking at the meters of it. And then you can also look at the the globe and there's an aspect of the flare where it's going to happen and where it's showing up and there's a there's a forecasting and then also like a radar type of deal of where it's happening at i promise you this is a the, tony thing in the, in the most recent future i'm talking like 50 years they've not been visible Enjoy. Well, maybe they said they almost saw them in Georgia one day. I mean, it's on LMD. <laughs> they almost. People are getting hyped up about something that they almost did. Well, yeah. So Michael's just talking about this company that we got the pattern from, the LHB, or the LHP. Leather hub, hub pattern. pattern. Yeah. Yeah, that's what. So Michael is, that apparently be, they do a mannequin. Oh. That would be fun. Didn't you want to make a mannequin? I want to make a set of armor. You sometime. do want to make a set of armor. Your husband has it. told me over and over he's going to get me a mannequin. No, so it's okay. I got an idea. You make a mannequin, and then, and then we'll you get give, to make armor. Then we'll give you armor to put on your mannequin. I'm not a good mannequin manufacturer. Oh. I wonder if we could just go. There's that fur store that's like up the road a little bit, and I'm pretty sure they're still in business, even though I never see anybody there. It did their. It still looks like the McDaniel Fur Company. I wonder uh -huh. if they've got some mannequins that we could I don't know. we could take a look at. I need <clears> one just so I can hang the armor on them as I make it. We used to have I we used to we have used that to dude have on one. retail. And it had the, the Native American jacket on it. I know, and we gave it away. I don't know why. But he was kind of weird. Well, did we give it away or did we throw it away? I don't know. Or is it in the third but room? But I remember when I did that shoulder holster, we used it as a model for that. Although you would need legs. I need legs. He wasn't, he just I had a, legs. he had a cylindrilic um, base. Yeah. He was just a torso and no head and no arms. He didn't have any arms either. He wouldn't have, you wouldn't have gotten very far he making armor with him. He was a guy. <laughs> he was just a torso. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, trust me, I know Denny's older than 50. What? <laughs> Somebody said Denny's older than 50, and I said, trust me, I know he's older than that. Well, so is the Grand Canyon. Old farriers a drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a farrier? No. Have you ever ferried? I have, I've been I have trimmed horses before, but I've never ferried one. <laughs> is that the correct never term? Farrier? Yeah. To ferry? ferry put shoes on horses and take care of their feet. Yeah, but do you ferry He's a foot horses? Husband. He's a foot husband. He does foot husbandry. Horse foot husband. Um, but but a, a farrier when he does his job is he ferrying? No. In answer to that question, no, I've never. Or is he just shoeing a horse? My back couldn't do that. Your back couldn't do uh -uh. that. Those guys are bent all the time. Yeah. They have some cool aprons, so. Oh, yeah. I've and they got some crazy, I watched some several TikTok videos about people shoeing horses. Mm -hmm. For a while, that's, my TikTok was strictly like farm animal life. Because um, it really, like, it pigeonholes you real fast, depending on what you sit there and watch. 
And um, <laughs> pigeon. Holes. Oh yeah, it's like all right. You wanna you wanna watch some herding dogs and horse videos? And you're like, yes, I would. Thank you. I would like to watch this Australian Shepherd herd sheep for 20 minutes. I will sit here and do that because it's impressive. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she's here. Never mind. Um, I was like, oh, I'll go get my herding dog, but we've had a child, and she doesn't care for children. Um, she just doesn't, you know, we don't so have any. Were, you guys were walking in, uh -huh. and Allison, that's why I stopped. I thought you guys were going to come in the other door. Allie says, um, can we wait until they go inside? <laughs> that dog does not like me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Allie. She is, she is getting... Um, little Leah in the office has been giving her treats every once in a while and so she will sniff and lick her hand now before she barks at her and then we go for it. <laughs> so we're it's it's getting better we're getting better at the children Allie and I went treasure hunting this morning oh yeah she came she said do you have any treasures at your bench did you so find some we went and found some treasures what'd you find Come show her the treasures. Allie, you want to come show us your treasures? She has a whole box full of treasures. <laughs> we have, we, I mean, this is like literally the store of treasures. Come, let's let's show them your treasures. What you got? Are you not going? No. She. Oh. Get your treasure box. Oh, you get your treasure box? It's right here. Here it is. Look, we have a spot just for you, Allie. Right here. Come show them your treasures. There's our box. What's in it? She found this treasure box somewhere. Look at this cute little treasure box. You got some chain. Yeah, we found that over. So we bench. got, this is a little bit of chain. What else is in there? Uh, we tied it, it up. Get it unlocked. Mm -hmm. Let's see here, look. Oh, if we just bend this back a little bit, there it is. <gasps> what is this? Was that a swan? Uh huh. Isn't that so cool? How pretty is it? Look at that. I love my this paper. Wife, my wife did that. Of course she did. Your wife is a lady of many talents. <laughs> She's also a bug eater, and so sometimes that's a little bit hard for me to <laughs> to swallow. To swallow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my favorite thing that we talked about at dinner, but that'll be okay. Still love you, Mary June. It, Still love you. It happens. <laughs> you got a two dollar bill? What? I got tipped one of these one time on retail and I still have it in my craft room. It was like my first tip when I worked on retail. Some dude came in and he like carries them around to tip with because he thinks that it's cool. <laughs> Which I was, I was like, all right, that's sure, interesting. Money. But how much change you got? That is it. Ooh, that's a, that's an interesting penny. What are these pennies called? The ones with the shields on them. Do you know what these ones are? That's not... No. Do they have a name? Yeah, what's the shield pennies, guys? What are these ones? I don't know what those are called. Those aren't just the regular penny, are they? All these have that, They're so maybe... Oh, no, 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 because the little building is the regular one. Yeah, the regular. Yeah. What's the shield? Worth one cent. What's the shield? What are they called? Union shield. Union shield. Right? Interesting. Maybe Lincoln shield pennies? I mean, Lincoln's on the front of them. I don't... I don't really know how I feel about Lincoln being the penny. <laughs> I feel like he deserves to be more than the penny. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know. And it, that's so fun. And you got a couple beads. What are you going to do with all your treasures? You don't know. Just hoard them? Bury them somewhere. <laughs> That's what you do with treasure. You need to bury it. You could Shield do a Penny time capsule. Consensus. What? Shield Penny has been the consensus. Hmm. Well, that's self-explanatory. I feel like the Shield Pennies are a recent thing. Yeah, they're, they're not old. Yeah. Thanks for showing us your treasures. You want to say hi to everybody? You can give them a wave. Look, there's your face. Right there. Right there. You see yourself? Allison! You have to wait for the after party if you want her to come. 
She was, I came in here the first thing this morning and she was like laying on the table on a piece of leather, all cute. And she was just watching some little cartoon. But she was just like on the table, just like Tony, just like father, like daughter. So she just on table laying on a piece of leather, just chilling out, watching, watching some tunes. <laughs> Just like Tony. Just like Tony. He also likes to lay on the table. And then I threw a rug over him. I said, what are you doing? It was it was getting towards the end of the day. Was it? It was Monday, wasn't it? Was it Monday when you laid on the table or was that last week? No, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. Okay. I'm just losing my mind. Hopefully I can get home before my wife does so I can hide them. That makes two boxes this week. Yeah. Uh, oh, guys, I have a story. How's, Denny, how's it going? Are you just doing the same thing? No, I'm just doing the okay, same he's thing. Okay, he's still sewing on binding. So, so my husband, you know, got into knife making several years ago, and um, knife making is an expensive hobby. It actually might be more expensive than leather working because you can't just crush steel with nothing. Like, you can hand sew for pretty cheap, right? Like, you don't need a, a $2,500 sewing machine. That's like right. for even if you want to buy really nice chisels, you're still looking at like a hundred bucks, maybe. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you know, in order to grind steel, you can buy a cheap grinder at like Grizzlies, which we did. He did. He bought like a one by thirty grinder in the beginning. But you know, then he was starting to really get into it, and suddenly. A pallet shows up at my house one day, <laughs> which is difficult to hide, much harder than a Especially when you than get a to work box. together and you drive back and forth from work to the yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. So, so we pull into the driveway, and there's a pallet. There's a pallet there with a nice, big, shiny, blue TW90 grinder in it. If any of you out there know what a TW90 grinder is, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you know the dollars that were put down. So I just, I get out and I'm like, Christopher, what is this? He's like, you see nothing. <laughs> like, that was his answer. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't see anything. You oh, definitely wow. don't see anything. It's the main one that they use on a forge and fire for people that... Yeah, Travis that probably donated it so that... I think actually Travis was one of their first contestants, so... Travis Wartz is the, where the TW part comes from. <laughs> It's not from Tony Williams? It's not Tony Williams, but it's, I mean, you know, if you wanted to. I think he's in Arizona. You could go out there. You guys could make an interesting team. He's pretty charismatic also. Just get the T-dubs together? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so that was, that was a surprise not well hidden. I remember one time. You guys don't have a pickup truck. That is correct. And I do. What was it? I think we hauled an I-beam to your house one time. Yeah, because that was for Chris's press. So there was an I-beam. Um, oh, oh we, Bill Miller. Bill Miller gave us an I-beam. And I think we, like, did you go with us out to Bill Miller's and pick it up? No, it was here. Uh, maybe Chris's dad remember. went out with us. I don't remember. All I remember is we loaded this thing up hold it to your house. <laughs> yeah. That's... I didn't even ask what he was going to do with it. <laughs> Bill Miller is one of our really good customers. He's also a knife maker and he makes cheese and he's just like a great all-around fella um, if anybody's ever met. And he seems to also know everybody so I'm just going to assume that all of you guys already know Bill Miller from Warsaw, Missouri. Um, and if you don't, then you should because he's just really the most fantastic person in the world. And uh he gave Chris an I beam so that he could build his his press, and that was an incredible process. Chris's dad worked for the city at the time, and and they uh, they went to their maintenance shop where they have like a huge welder where they could weld the I beam to um, like a couple of plate like one inch plate steel thingies, and then mount all of his press. Like he had two I beams, like a short one for the bottom, and then he had a main one for the the back of it. He's got like a a C, I think it is press. Uh -huh. So anyways, so anyways. Then if you put a, a lot. piece of cord in there, could you make that piping for the binding instead? You have a pipe at the top. Well, yeah, but you still got to stitch it on here. Yeah, I know. I was, 
We were talking about what it was actually called. This is this is a binding. Yeah, I think uh, piping is when piping you put is, two pieces between yeah. another two pieces. Piping is like, like down a, a seam. Weld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a, a bound edge. So even if you did put like a cord I, in there, it would still be binding, mm -hmm. a corded binding. Yeah. And you could, I suppose, like if you had like thin leather and you really wanted to firm up the top, you could yeah. use a cord in there. But for this, it's really, I don't, I don't think it would yeah, do much for it. This is really firming the top up, actually. Yeah. Is it making you feel good? Making you feel good about the oh, yeah, stability loving, of it? I'm loving it. He's loving it, guys. He's loving every minute of it. I can't steal that. Loving every minute oh, of it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You have pierced your thread. I have pierced my thread. I was wanting a new one anyway. Yeah, that one's getting... Getting a little curly. Yeah. Yeah, that's no fun. say that. Nope. <laughs> I tell you what, sometimes when I'm going around a knife sheath, like I really do want to put a new piece of thread, but I don't want, I don't want a seam in my stitch. Like I don't want to start and stop again. So I don't, but I don't love it a lot of times, especially when you're getting down to the end. Everything is nice and curly and wanting to come apart. These SLC hair on pieces are gorgeous. Nice. I'm glad you like them, Zebra. Those calfskins are really beautiful. I, I think that they're a lot of fun. I would just put them on something. I don't really know. If any of you make anything out of it, we would love to see some pictures of it. Because I think that that would be uh, really neat. Yeah, with those leopard calfskins. Yeah. What do you need, Denny? A thread burner. Oh, uh, behind here. It's on a leash. So it does run away. Oh, I think this actually might be your, yours. Yeah, I do too. I was wondering. Yeah, I took it. Who got that? I stole it when you were gone, and I was trying to make my little my little round bag. I wonder if Andy's finished that little round bag. <laughs> I saw it on <laughs> hey, Jenny bench Bean. over there. <clears throat> Checking in from Canada. I'm sure she has probably seen them. I finished my lines. round bag. Did you? This morning, yes. Nice. Did we ship Brenda's order, or did we set up some pickup? Mm. I don't know if I remember Stampy. I know I got Jessie Perkins, her order put out, and has Terry Beeson, did he shop on Monday? Did he complete an order? Mm -hmm. Terry did shop, but I don't think that he, I don't know that he's completed. I don't know if I've seen that one. We're almost there. Honestly, I, we probably did ship it. We may have shipped it because I don't remember stamping. I only remember having two stamped for pickup, and it was Tony that came in and um, and Jesse Perkins. Yeah, sometimes we just, you know, you're just pulling stuff, and you're not really looking at names, and things just go. So if we ship yours and you're kind of local, then whoops. But also, here you go. You don't have to make a trip. Yay. <laughs> yay. Whoops and yay. Whoops and yay. yay. Yeah, those stacks get large sometimes, and uh, you just fill orders. <coughs> I am excited. Our bins are starting to look less full, which is super awesome. Has almost everybody completed, Tony? Including the 13 yesterday, because we're did down I from 193 to 192, plus 13 from yesterday, that should be 105. And then minus 179 that have paid. So we have 26 left to pay. Well, that's not shabby. And it's Friday. So cool. Hopefully everybody else will get those processed over the weekend. And once again, you do have until Monday at midnight. So everybody's got till Monday at midnight. It should, if everything also works correctly, there's an automated email that should go out. Like Sunday night to say you have 24 hours? Something like that? Uh, or Monday it'll morning? Go out, it'll go out Monday morning at gotcha. 6 o'clock. I haven't yet need to complete mine. Come on, Josh. Where are you, Josh? Wow. Wow. It's cool. You got all weekend, buddy. All weekend. <clears throat> Seems like Denny would like to be somewhere else. No, he's having a great time. <laughs> where else would you be, Denny? If you, where if you weren't here right now, where would you yeah. be? Yeah. I don't know. You know, my wife and I are planning a vacation. Are you? We're going to go to, I think, we're going to go to Oklahoma again for a couple of days mm -hmm. to the Selenite place. 
But then we're going to go on to New Mexico again. Oh. Spend a couple of days or three You days. should go see... You should go see Amy. I should. She's in, in Santa Fe. Mm-hmm. I might. You should. If she we, would love it so much. I sent her a postcard. I got a I got an Alaskan postcard for her, and oh, I yeah? I sent it to her last week. She's a what, she has a soap place. Now? Yep, yep. She's got a a bulk refill store in Santa Fe. Yeah. Amy is one of the ladies that used to do our marketing here several years ago, and she moved away. And uh, anyways, she's a great gal. Everything is fine. What's what's going on, Zero? What's up? Oh, you stitching. Yeah, everything is. He's fine. <laughs> it's a good fishing day. But mine has issues. Oh, Terry, if you're having issues, you know that we'll help you out. You just have to let us know. Terry Beeson. We'll just, we know how to run your card. <laughs> we know how to get that done for you. Probably on Monday if yours hadn't processed yet, that's what we would have just done anyways. There, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if some of them got mixed up when they were all being sent in because there's been a couple of people who have been having issues paying, but... We have had a handful of payment. But Just everything... People struggling to get their links but to function. When I, go to check, when I go to check it, everything's set like they should be able to. Everything is fine. Yeah. Well, you know, you guys know Tony and I are here for you, so send us a little, a little email at live at springfieldleather.com. And um, if you've got everything, like ready to go on your account if you got a payment right. method if your addresses look good and you're just like for whatever reason it's not processing just let us know and just be like hey the card on file is good uh, we get and um are you running away yeah. look he is done he's gone he's out i'm done it's over <laughs> we finally we drove him away <laughs> Somebody suggested he be somewhere else, or did he look like he needed to be somewhere else? Zero called in. Yeah, that is also an option you can call in. But if you, you know, if you, if it takes a minute to get through in the office, or if, if everything is on your account ready to go, just uh, shoot us an email, and Tony and I can process them. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why they're not working, because I'd like it to be working. Right? Working is good. We do like it when it works. That is, that is nice. She looks so serious. They were talking about Allison. Oh. She is a very serious child. She can be pretty silly. Oh, Denny, you silly goose. The binding isn't attached to the... It to the... binding isn't attached to what? Um, the binding isn't attached to the bag. Did he mess the hole, though? Like, like, we're sewing the binding, but it's... Let's check out your work. Again. Hello. <laughs> what do you? What happened? I we, just forgot some stuff. We just we didn't. I didn't go through some holes. I meant to go through. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Cause I'm gonna start over. I stole your bench. That's all right. I'll stand. I'm I'm good. I received the email saying it was ready, but I did not see it in order. Oh, oh. it won't be in orders. It will be in purchasing and then under quotes. It won't be in orders. It'll be under quotes. Under You're close. Quotes. So you log in, you go to purchases, and then set of orders at the very bottom of that purchases, there'll be a quote. Oh, Angela, I am working on filling your order this morning. I got, I think I got you and um, Andrea. Uh, Andrea. Uh, Tobinaga. To to Tobinaga. 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 There you go. I got all your stuff situated yesterday, and I put your orders aside, and I pulled. I think I pulled Andrea's the that answers my right before I came in here, and then yours is next that I'm going to get. my question if I need this or not. And the answer is no. No, you sure don't. Because you printed both of theirs again. Correct. I reprinted both of them. Okay. Yeah. Please check if the field set is created. Yeah, that's, what, that's the issue that has been showing up for people. Good old technology. You know, it's a struggle sometimes. Terry, we can complete it. Or you can call in. Just say, you do it, or I'll call. Tom Kilcullen says, glad to see you two together again. Like an old song. I know. <laughs> Didn't you guys miss us? Tom, how are things in uh, Nebraska? 
Did you go to the zoo? Man, I need to make a trip back up there. It's been, I think the Africa exhibit should be all finished. And last time I went, it was like some of it was done, but it wasn't completely done. And I really, that Omaha Zoo, guys, if, if any of you are ever in the area, it is 100% worth a day to spend at the Omaha Zoo. They have, I love, like, they've got the, the largest fake indoor rainforest. It's called the Lied Rainforest because it's obviously not a real rainforest, but it is the largest indoor rain like fake rainforest and like you just you walk in so that you walk up um you walk into this building at the top level and there's just like you're in a rainforest and you're just following this trail but it's not like a typical like enclosure situation is it's like you're just far enough away from the trees that the monkey over there can't get to you so you like walking <laughs> through the canopy yeah yeah, so you're walking through this canopy and then you kind of like meander your way down. They've got bats and so, you know, like the bats have certain feeding times and they'll put out fruit and the bats will swarm around just <laughs> in there. Oh my God. So, and then they'll just be hanging on the wall, like eating their little fruit and all of their weird little noises. It's incredible. And there's pygmy hippos at the bottom. Like you look down and just like tootling around down there, little pygmy hippos, which I think are adorable. And they've got arapaimas with the pygmy hippos. So, you know, if you want to see what a pair of Raku looks like, still in its flesh, <laughs> you can check those out. They, we also have some at Bass Pro. If you go there, they've got some arapaimas that are pretty cool. Dean says Nebraska has a Sioux. Yeah, I know. Okay, so it's actually a really funny story. So Chris's friend was getting married, and we went up there because that's where they live. And so we went up to Omaha, and we, we were there a day early, and then the wedding wasn't until, like, the next night at, like, 5 o'clock, right? So we pretty much had a whole next day. And so we were staying in their little, like, old downtown area. And so we were just walking around, and we found this art gallery that we were walking through. And so we asked the art gallery owner. We were just like, hey, what do you do in Omaha? Like, what's fun to do here? We pretty much have all day tomorrow. And he's like, uh, you go to the zoo. And we're like, no, no. In Omaha, you go to the zoo? And he's like, yeah, we have. And it is like the top five zoos in the world, mm -hmm. Omaha, Nebraska. And it was a, it was a, it's, it's amazing. They have a desert dome. So like, once again, you just like walk through this desert scape and a lot of the critters in there are little because most desert animals are small. Oh, did, they, did they shoot by a dome in Omaha? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, probably not. But yeah, so like the desert dome is really cool. And then they've got a swamp underneath the desert dome that you walk through and then the rainforest and... You just overlap them, Dean. Was it the... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Toronto has a really amazing Komodo dragon. We, every time we go anywhere, we go to the zoo. That's just what Chris and I do because we really like so really we love animals. in USA, San Diego, Omaha, and Cincinnati. That's the ones I know of. Yeah. St. Louis has a pretty good zoo. They do, and it's free. They do, yeah. It's a free zoo. You can't complain about that, like, if it's free. The, I don't think the Omaha Zoo is all that expensive, maybe, like, 30 bucks a person. Yeah. Like, it's not bad. We did, um, the aquarium in Atlanta is pretty spectacular, and it was, it was expensive. I think it was, like, 60 bucks a person to get into the, the so aquarium. Memphis, Memphis Zoo is also a free zoo. Hmm. But Anybody else love to go to zoos? You can go get some. <gasps> Toronto also had panda bears. <laughs> Memphis has pandas. Do they? Yeah. Ugh, I love. They're just so cute, just chomping on their bamboo. I was like, oh my god, can I bring you my bamboo? It would be a long way to ship it up here, but yeah, maybe you come to my house. Just, I know, right? Can I just? Can you just like loan me pandas for a week, and they can just eat all of it? Because they right. probably would. Like, I don't have that much. But I do have enough to probably feed a pack of pandas for a week. <laughs> a pack of pandas? Is that what they're called? Yeah, they're, yeah. Pack of, they're a pack. What, is that? A herd. <laughs> Surely they're not a what? herd. What's a what's a group of pandas called, guys? Pandas. You know how like each animal has a name for what a gaggle of them is. You know what a bunch of crows is That's called? Really a murder. A murder. Called. Do you know what a bunch of pelicans is called? No. I just That's googled wandering. what a group of pandas is called. It's weird. You would never guess it. All right. Do you want a group of rhin rhinoceros is called? A crash. A crash. A crash. Yeah. Huh. What's pandas? A cupboard. A cupboard of pandas? A cupboard of pandas. No. Or a bamboo of pandas. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I a cupboard of pandas. Look at you guys learning things today. Hmm. 
<laughs> zero leather related, but <laughs> any large city is a zoo. That is true. Just like a human zoo. You could just go to New York and observe the humans. I did that. That was fun. <laughs> Uh, gray. Like I just had amazing experience with the laser guy. Cool. Gray. That is gray. Yeah. Yeah. A group of apes is called a Congress. A what? A Congress. Congress of apes. Yeah. They have also been called an embarrassment, but <laughs> the painters may not be still in Memphis. They may just been there for a little while, and we just happened to see them when they were there. Just going to the same. Oh, just going to St. Louis is, is Zoo. Uh, nice. Tom said he just moved cows back to Iowa. He did? Yeah. Cows. Don't forget the albino alligator. They have one of those at the uh, Winter's Wildlife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a Mm. It was so fun whenever we were in um, Sitka um, doing our little cruise. Um, they have a bear sanctuary called Fortress of the Bear. I don't think I talked about much of my trip yet. And this no. sounds like a good time to do it because we ain't got nothing else going on. Uh, <laughs> anyways, and so there was, um, so in Alaska, they live like, bears live in Alaska a lot of them and so the people just live with the bears like that is the bears are, are really protected um, if you do stupid things then you get fined for it they have very strict measures that everybody has to abide by to not draw the bears into town um, because they pretty much have like a bear for every person like in Sitka there's just it's they have a lot of bears and um and so like they have specific trash cans they have very specific ways to like if you have food waste and I think maybe it was specifically meat, but like the food waste had to be frozen. And then like the morning of your trash pickup is the only time that you can put it in the trash can and it has to be frozen when it goes out there so that it doesn't smell and the bears don't come. Like if you just put fresh meat in your trash can and you bring a bear and you have to shoot it, you get fined because you are a bad steward to the to the area. Like you did that and you know better. See you Joshua. And um, bye. And so, but what happens if a mama bear gets killed by some unfortunate circumstance that has to do with humans um, and she's got cubs, they used to just go in and shoot the cubs. They would go find the cubs and shoot them because if they don't learn how to hibernate, then they're going to starve to death and they're going to die during winter. Um, and so this this one park ranger or whatever he was, he had to shoot um, a couple of sets of cubs and he was like, you know what, this is, this is not good for me. I don't like this. I don't think that this should happen. So he spent seven years setting up the Fortress of the Bear facility and foundation um, so that now if that happens, they can take the cubs in and they can raise them. Now Alaska doesn't allow you to release after um, a bear has been captured. Right. Um, and so now he's working on that to be able to like rehab the bear, teach it how to live its life and then be able to release it. Um, but right now it's weird how like the laws that are well, in place. Well I assume like for the bears if you did release them back after they've been with humans they're going to find their way back to human. When we went to the glacier. But, but other states allow it so there's got to be ways that they can do it yeah, safely. When we went to Glacier <clears throat> National Park uh, there's a place called the Road to the Sun which which is the main road through the park mm -hmm. but to uh, when you get right up on top of this road, there was a, there's a like a restaurant and a gift shop and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the people we were with showed us a cub, a grizzly bear cub that was out in this field. And they said it's been out there for uh, two weeks hmm. because its mother got run over by a bus. Aww. But they weren't doing anything. It was just out there just starving to death, I guess, by itself. I don't know if they ever did anything with it or not, but it Interesting. pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah. But so now he's working on the release, but they had hmm, I think it was five brown bears and then three black bears currently in their in their care. And he could, so the guy was there that started it, and he's exactly like what you would imagine. He was you, but like Alaska rugged you. <laughs> 
but if that, if anybody can picture that, but it's the same. <laughs> and, um, and so he, he was there and he could talk to those bears. He's, I mean, he's been with them their whole lives. He raised them from cubs and, um, he, like he, he was up there and he was talking to, and like the bear was responding to him and like doing like little things. Cause wow. you know, I, you know, they were probably like six or seven years old. And so they had spent, and he still goes in there with him. Like those are his kids yeah. and it was just incredible. And they were just playing with each other and they had some ponds that they were swimming in and just like. I don't know. They were like two bears were like fighting in a pond of water, just like wrestling. Like you would imagine dogs that could grab each other would. I don't know. It was it was pretty fun. It was neat. And we were like the first um, trip of the day. And so they were just kind of like getting up and around and they were just super curious. And so they would stand up and they would look at the top where the people are looking down in at them. And like one of the bears kept standing up and like looking up at everybody and just like uh, it was it was just incredible to be I don't know 15 feet away from a brown bear yeah it's like looking back at you and like hey what's going on so Mary Jane Angelo which I don't have Facebook over there she says my po property is basically a zoo I have a wildlife rehab oh. instead of my wildlife rehab I don't associate food and humans I don't talk around them and I cover my face with a camo netting to ensure all animals stay wild very cool yeah that is awesome where are you located like like city or state, whatever you're willing to give. That's interesting. What kind of animals do you have? What is a group of hedgehogs called? Pile of fence posts. Hedgehogs. <laughs> oh, Chad here today? He is gone today. He's gone today. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kevin. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> a prickle. Of course. A, a prickle, prickle of, of hedgehogs. How about a group of hip hippopotamuses? Didn't you already tell us that? Nope. No. A rhino. If a you rhino. did, I already forgot it a, anyway. A crash of rhino. But hippopotamuses. We'll, we'll see if anybody has that. Does anybody know what a group of hippos is called? Not Googling it. N Northwestern Pennsylvania. Who remembers the show Gentle Ben? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, I don't. Grizzly Adams. Probably don't remember him either. Michael Seeger got the hedgehogs. Dean says, I do. I've had three inches of rain in my house and grass is coming back nice and green. Yeah, I had to mow last weekend and there were some patches that were difficult. And then I had to get the weed eater out, which I don't weed eat very often. And I had quite a bit to do because all those stupid purple weeds that like grow the purple berries and like they get like this tall and the That's stalks poke. like That's this big. Poke. Is it poke? Well, I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Anyways, I had to weed eat those down and they're so like, the stalks are so juicy. That like when you go to weed eat them, like I just got like a spray in my face and I was just like eating poke stock. It was, gr I, just, I did not enjoy that. And then the grasshoppers have gotten really big and I definitely don't appreciate that because <laughs> they're just flying and jumping around and grasshoppers scare the bejesus out of me. Like there were several times I was like, like, like trying to like mow, but then I was like jumping away from the lawnmower, but I didn't want to like let go of the thing because I didn't want to have to restart it. And it was just a, I'm sure people watching me were like, this girl is ridiculous. <laughs> a, a bloat of hippopotamus. A bloat? A bloat. Wow. A bloat of Who comes up with these names? That's a bloat. It looks like a bloat of hippos over there. Well, I mean, they all float to the top. They, they, they do. Around. They just so come they, How about mice? How about a group of mice? It's like a group of children. A scat, scat of mice? Scurry? A scurry of mice? A mischief. Mischief of mice. Well, aren't we cute? Speaking of weed eating. How about flam flamingos? A group of <gasps> flamingos. Michael, no. That's what? that's sad. Luna chased a baby rabbit down the alley yesterday. <laughs> Aw. Is he okay? Did you did you like did you help him? He just gave him a haircut. <laughs> a group of flamingos. I don't know, the one-legged something? A flock. A flock of flamingos. I don't know. Tell us. Tangled Up says, so what about a group of tokens? Annoying. 
<laughs> a group of flamingos is a flamboyance. A flamboyance of flamingos. I love that. That's cute. A group of zebra, uh, zebras, not zeros. A group of zebras. Zeros would be called numbers. Yeah. <laughs> What's a group of zebras? A, a camouflage? Group, group of letters is the alphabet. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> what do we got, Tony? A dazzle. A dazzle of zebras? That's what it says. Wow. All right. He said he's still alive. It's been two weeks. Oh, good. Ed Labar did used to have a bear. Well, that Ed makes Labar sense. did. Yeah, they call him the Bear Man, right? I think bears are really cute. How about a group of crickets? A chirp. A concerto. A concerto. Oh my god! I don't like crickets either. <laughs> Except for the Mulan one. I like that one. <laughs> Squirrels. I think I think we've got Tony in a rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. oh the next one is hairs. <laughs> <laughs> a scurry of squirrels. Well, that makes sense. They sure do make my dogs scurry every time we see squirrels. Hyenas. A scream. A cackle. A cackle. <gasps> I'm a hyena. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't one of those. <laughs> I should practice my hyena laugh. I've got my Janice laugh down, but now I need to work on my hyena hey, laugh. Janice laugh. Yeah. I shared it with Nick one time when it was just me and him. I don't think I could do it in public. It takes it takes a lot for me to work up to my Janice laugh. <laughs> I'm sure it's similar to the Janice one. I haven't heard, like, I, I, I know. Uh, one's on Friends and one had their own show. Like, yeah. Um, the, oh, Fran Drescher? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Like the nanny or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Oh, Diana Lane says, what's a group of SLC workers? <laughs> <laughs> a gaggle. Well, I don't know. Kevin always uses his gophers and soft dirt. We're gophers. We're gophers. Gopher days, we have gone too far. Are you breaking stuff? No. Okay. I got lucky. I think. No. Mary Jane lucky. gave us her website. Go we'll check it out. After. Oh wow! Aren't you fancy? Cool. A group of kids. A hide. <laughs> <laughs> trouble. Yeah, that's about right. That's trouble. I like a hide. A hide of workers. Loafers. Uh -huh. Listen here, Wayne. Abigail says a Bundy. Oh, That's one of the group of SLC workers are a Bundy. I like that too. Everybody here, especially this week, because we've been talking about our Bundies, they're like, God, like, what are Bundies, guys? And I'm like, listen, Kevin makes bundles and SLC stocks these regular bundles. Tony and I make Bundies. Yeah. Because number one, it's way more fun to say and we got to <laughs> differentiate it somehow. Um, and we're just we're just weird like that. So that's what we we make bundies. We're just weird. Like we're just weird like that. So how long are we gonna draw this out? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you could have done a little more earlier. <laughs> I see the thing. I wanted to have enough to do. Well, how are you? How are you going to finish up the the binding? Hey, look, we'll we'll, we'll get past around. here, and then we can we can rivet the handles on. You we think? can do that now. We can do no, we can't. No, you need to get past these holes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it might be a little. We can at least do one side. So we're going to get past these holes. We'll put on one. You need to, of the handles. To well, sh should we do that now, or should we do top, it later? You need to do the top rivet. Okay. Through this hole, because see. If I was worried that my angle was not going to be right. Uh, you, we can still okay. work it. I'm going to set a rivet, y'all. Look, I'm going to get my rivet slab out, and we'll do some leather work. Hey, Denny, can you show how you would just 
in the binding part of it? Like, does it overlap? They just butt up and it, each other? This is going to end up right underneath one of these straps like this. Oh, so I'm just okay. going to butt them together. I, yeah. This is over length. So when I get there, I'll just cut it off. Which, which camera are we on? The one over there by the door. There it is. Yeah. When I get around here, see, I'll just cut this off to length. Just Would right you normally there. let it over, overlap, say, when the handle wasn't going to cover if, it? If it wasn't going to be covered, I would probably skive both ends down a little bit so it wouldn't be a big lump there and just overlap. Yeah. Or if you were real precise and could measure it exactly, you could actually stitch it inside out, do a blind stitch there. Yeah. Brenda, this isn't our pattern. This is somebody else's, so there is a pattern available. Let me find it. handle. All right. Well, that's a good idea, good fork. It's probably not appropriate. <laughs> you see her coming? Yeah. Right. That was the best piece of leather I ever did sell. I know. What was this? It was supposed to be called Ortega. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it wasn't. <laughs> nope. I'm hungry. Me too. I had Sonic for dinner last night, but I made my Sonic again for lunch and get a cranberry live mm -hmm. egg for a friend. Wait, whoa, whoa. Didn't you get corn dogs yesterday too? No. I got I got four corn dogs yesterday. That's what I had for dinner. Four, uh, four corn dogs and an onion. Nice. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, you had it for lunch, for dinner, and then you can have them for lunch again. I, I treated myself to sushi last night. Ooh. I said... I'm really tired and I, I don't want to eat. I just want sushi. I just want sushi. So I went to my favorite place in town, Umi, and I ordered my touchdown roll and a sumo roll and I got a spicy tuna roll and some salmon sashimi because that is my other favorite thing. And I ate my sushi and it was delicious. Uh. Denny, what size do you wear? What size hat do you wear? Oh, what size? What's your hat? Do you know what your How big is your hat, Denny? Uh, seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. How are hats? Or a seven and an eighth. And it depends on the hat. It, for me, it depends on if I'm on the plate or if I'm on the bases. Oh, no. Unless it's windy. Yes, Denny. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh no! No no! I think we're gonna call it right here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, you, did you make it past your holes? Did you pierce it again? Yes, I pierced it again. Oh, you didn't. We can I made this it side. past enough where we can we can okay. go ahead and rivet the handles on, and I can still work around it. Alrighty. Can I do that? Yes. Would can I do please? that? Would you please? What, wait. What was the cranberry song? No, no, no. Anytime somebody says raspberry, I'll sing the raspberry song. We don't like the cranberries. Here. We don't do cranberries here. I don't mind the cranberries. Oh, well, Tony was just talking about we're going to get a cranberry, cranberry, cran lime. a cranberry limeade. Cranberry limeade down there, oh. oh. Sonic right there, right down the road. Get just right off that road down there. You just gonna head out there, take a ride out of the parking lot here, Springfield Leather at the stoplight. That stoplight there, you're just gonna take a whole left hand turn right there across him and there's traffic. You're gonna drive for a little bit. You'll see that Sonic right there on the left hand side. I'm gonna get in there and get you a cranberry limeade. I can do it on this side. Don't get it. Because it's just these ones. Not, not those ones. Yeah. Do you care if we do any of this on And we'll put the camera? We'll put yeah, the I will. Oh, I'll take it there. So what would be really handy in this situation is our little uh, foot. Yeah. Yep. yep, our little foot. But we'll figure it out. Does everybody have one of those little feet? One of those little foots? A cobbler? A cobbler's um, foot? 
Or, yeah, it's it's an anvil, actually, a cobbler's anvil, a, a shoe. Shoe. Shoehorn whacker? Shoehorn whacker place? Dang it, I, I feel like there was a word for there that. There probably is. And now I've forgotten. So I'm going to do the two top ones first. Get everything lined up there. There you go. Or there, wherever, wherever you want to be. I'm just Tony. trying to figure out what... Uh, I'll be wherever you want to be. You just do you and I'll move my cameras. Okay. Christina says she has one and she says it works well. Yeah, they're they're pretty handy. Because this is Sharon said I'm at work today and you guys are on once again. Okay. We're on, alright. But we this is our fourth video this week, isn't it? Shows is <laughs> pretty soon we're gonna be streaming five days a week. Don't don't do that, Tony. Don't say that. We don't, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about streaming five times a day. I mean, oh, times a day. Yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> five times a day. <laughs> a cobbler's last. No, the cobbler's last would be like a little shoe form. Yeah, this is a this is a um, an anvil. Everybody should feel sorry for my wife. <laughs> Because Allison, whatever the cameras, and she's around all the people that she knows, she's a lot like me. Here we go. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Denny. That was wonderful. Look, I got them all on there. We're going to fill these other holes either with rivets or crystal rivets once we get there. We might even just put crystal rivets all the way around the top and make yeah. it all blingy. Just Who knows? But anyways, put so that's that. Then he will continue to stitch around the top of this and he'll come back. Are you just going to butt it up? Yeah, I'm just going to butt it because it's going to be... No, it ain't. Oh, it's not, is it? Well, you might go yeah, over yeah, it one Because I'll, I'll back some of those stitches out and make it butt underneath it. All right, he'll make it butt under behind this one. And then when we put the next handle on, I should have done that. When we put the next handle on, this pocket will just rivet where we riveted the, to the, the handle to the bottom, to the bottom. too. Yeah. So there's it. That is just look at that. It's, it's, that's kind of a neat bag. It is the, pretty cute. The binding did uh, stiffen the top up a lot. Yeah, it makes it like this side is still yeah. it's a little floppy, but this this side feels really good. Yeah. There it is. So this is the, this is most of the, the Tony, bada bing, the Goss, the, bada bag. the Gospodinia, the yep. Gospodinia. That's a fun word, the Gospodinia. Anyway, so everybody check out that pattern. Apparently they've also got some fun mannequins. They do have a lot of neat patterns. So, you know, find I'm patterns and then come back here and buy your leather and then we're all happy. I'm feeling they have acronyms, LHP. The LHP. It's the LHP pattern. Go to oh. the LHP. <laughs> And then buy some leather here. Alrighty, guys. Uh, but a little slice. A butt slice? <laughs> Dean! What? What are you? A butt slice. A butt slice. I think he meant a butt splice. I could be wrong. What was that Flo Rida song? Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to my house. No, that wasn't that one. Alrighty, next week we'll be doing something. Do we have a plan for next week yet? I don't have a plan. Are you going to be here? You're not going on vacation this soon, right? No. Okay, that's good, because you just no. got back. Last week of next month is when I'm ready. So the end of September. End of September. Good, because you had... week in October. What's that? So Farm Fest oh. week? I might have to change my vacation. <laughs> I it's forgot funny. about Farm Fest. How did you forget about Farm Fest? I don't know. I just forget. Guys. I'm old. It's I been like anything. eight years. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, by the way, yeah. congratulations, you've been here 11 years. I sure have. I know, I'm an old lady. <laughs> you are an hey, old lady. Hey, hand me your back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> There's <laughs> hair on. Oh, right, we're going to do something fun with hair on next week. Yeah. We'll just do, maybe we'll just do a bunch of little hair on projects. Yeah, someone said something about the hey dudes. The hey dudes. I don't know. Oh, yeah, my wife said, mm -hmm. hey dude. I was going to do one hey dude. Yeah, One, hey, we'll, single, do, we'll do fun hair on next week. Left or right? We're just going to do a the left or right? I, she's right handed, so we'll do the right foot. And then she can just wobble along. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Thank you for being here all week to everybody that has been with us. It has been... 
quite an adventure. We will continue to get those orders out. For those 26 of you that haven't finished your estimates, please get that done, you know, just, just whenever you can before I'm, Monday I'm at midnight. This, this little week, our little two videos that we did here, just kind of hanging out with you guys. That's been yeah. fun. It's yeah. been it's been fun getting back in the swing of things, just kind of. I mean, not really like going through and having to do an instructional video, but just like being able to do something and talk. Yeah. But yeah, we'll just, we're getting back into it. So, alrighty, folks, we will see you back next Wednesday. Will be our first video next week, not before then. Um, and we'll be having some fun with hair on. So, have a great weekend. Everybody be safe. See ya. See ya.